Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to turn Ethereum or some kind of ERC20 token like Ethereum that's on the Ethereum network into a BEP20, BEP20 token on the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, if you want to use PancakeSwap, if you want to get into crypto pre-sales, you know, that are launching, it's a really hot thing right now, seeing huge returns, you're going to need BNB, right? So how do you turn Ethereum into BNB is basically the question, or an ERC-20 token into a BEP-20 token. Uh, this is how you do it. Now, if you're in the United States, you're going to need a VPN. I don't know why. I can theorize on it, but uh, nonetheless, you need a VPN. And so I'm going to show you how to download a VPN that I use. It's been very effective, super simple. It's free. And I have it turned on right now. If we click here, you'll see that it says you are secure. And I also want to bring your attention to something that is extremely important. Even if you don't know what's going on, just remember, uh, and I'll give you the links below this video to do this. If you don't have a VPN, you're going to want to prevent WebRTC IP leak. It just means if that's not checked off and you don't have that initiated with the VPN, then the VPN may not work. And so I'm going to show you in the, in the links below some other videos that will show you how to get the VPN if you don't have it and how to make sure that that WebRTC IP leak, you don't, you don't even have to know what that is. You just have to download it super easy and have it checked off. I'll give you links to that if you don't have a VPN. That's for people in the United States. If you're not in the US, most countries, it's not an issue. If you're finding it's an issue, I just download a VPN, use a VPN. Again, I'll show you the links below. Okay, let's begin. I got the VPN turned on. And uh, now here it says asset. So I'm going to turn Ethereum into BNB, but you could do it with just about any, you know, any of these options in here. There's tons of them. These are all ERC20 tokens. You know, you got Cardano in there. You got, now this says, you got a lot of different tokens in here. My point is you can select one that isn't ETH. That's an ERC20 token if you want to and turn it into, you know, something on the Binance Smart Chain token. Uh, I'm going to choose ETH. Now, now you have to go here where it says from and to. So I'm going to do it from my Ethereum net, from the Ethereum network. And then we're going to want to send it to the Binance Smart Chain network because we're wanting to turn Ethereum in this case into BNB, right? Oftentimes I do USDC, which is an ERC, can be an ERC-20 token. It'd be the same thing. I'd have Ethereum network and I'm turning it into something that could be on the Binance Smart Chain network. Here I'm doing Ethereum. So I'm on the Ethereum network and it goes to the Binance Smart Chain. If you need to change these, you would hit the down arrow and you'd select something else. I will mention something that sometimes I come here and for whatever reason, it doesn't let me select this and you just have to come back later. I don't know why that is. Uh, just it's happened from time to time. So don't freak out. Don't panic. Just check in later. Sometimes they have little updates and things that they're doing to the site that that makes this not function properly. But usually it works perfectly. Never had a problem with it. If I just came back, I could do this. But anyway, so I've got ETH selected as the asset. I'm going from the Ethereum network to the Binance Smart Chain. You're going to want to make sure that you've got your wallet open. You know, if I go here to MetaMask, I'm using MetaMask in this example, and you've got the wallet open and you are, you know, you're making sure that uh, it can communicate with this. I'm on the Ethereum network, right? Because we're going from the Ethereum network to the Binance Smart Chain. So again, when I open this up, I'm on the Ethereum network. You're not on the Binance Smart Chain. You know, that would be wrong. <laughs> Don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm on the Ethereum network because we're going from the Ethereum network to the Binance Smart Chain. I know I'm going slow here for those of you that are a little bit more advanced. I just wanna make sure that everybody can get through this because it can be pretty frustrating if you don't know. But if you know this process, it's really simple. Okay, if you have not, this says, if you have not add Binance Smart Chain Network, it means added Binance Smart Chain Network in your MetaMask yet, please click here. So you are gonna to wanna to make sure that you already, before you initiate this, that you already have the Binance Smart Chain you know, network on your, in this case, MetaMask on your wallet. And so if you haven't, you're gonna have to go to add network. I'm not gonna show you how to do that, but I'll put a link below this video showing you how to make sure you have the Binance Smart Chain on your MetaMask wallet because you're, you're trying to get BNB and to have BNB, you've gotta have the Binance Smart Chain on your wallet. So again, refer to links below my video if you need help with that. I'm gonna assume that you already have Binance Smart Chain on the wallet. If you don't, go do that and then come back. Okay, so, uh, and you could just click there and it might walk you through it easily and then you could continue with my video if you wanted to. I haven't used this method of doing it. I'm assuming it makes it simple, but I'm gonna show you in a link below in a video how I do it. 
Now here I enter the amount that I'm going to want to turn amount of Ethereum that I want to turn into, you know, BNB. And so, and by the way, I should mention for those of you who don't know, when I first do this, it's going to send me Ethereum on the Binance Smart Chain. It's not real Ethereum. It's like wrapped Ethereum. It's like Ethereum that follows the price of, of real Ethereum. So, you know, for all, you know, purposes that matter to us, uh, it's Ethereum, but it can't be used when it gets put into the Binance Smart Chain. The Ethereum that I get through this transaction can't be used as Ethereum on the Ethereum network. However, once I get this Ethereum from the Ethereum network on, as Ethereum wrapped Ethereum, they call it, on the Binance Smart Chain, I'll then be able to go to PancakeSwap and trade that, that wrapped Ethereum into BNB, okay? So, uh, and I'll put a link below to show you how to do that as well. Uh, once you have the Ethereum from the Ethereum network switched over to Ethereum, wrapped Ethereum on the Binance Smart Chain. So I'm gonna enter, I just wanna make sure I explain all this for those that all this is new to. Uh, so and it sounds way more complicated than it is, you know, it, it really, it really, it, there's a lot of little details, but the process is basically simple. I just want to do my best to help you kind of learn these things because it takes a while to pick it up if somebody doesn't just lay it all out at once. All right. So the amount that I'm going to send, let me see what I got in there. Uh, it says uh, I got 0.577. I'm not sure what's going to happen because I'm going to need some for gas. So you need enough, you know, Ethereum left over for the gas transaction. Let's see what it's going to charge me. It's been charging me almost nothing or nothing sometimes. So let me go ahead and click. I, I entered point, 0 0.577 ETH and I'm going to enter uh, connect wallet. So then I click, in my case, I'm going to click MetaMask. So I'm using MetaMask and I click connect wallet. Okay. And now it's asking me again to enter the amount. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit, hit maximum. I'm gonna assume that that allows for gas, you know, so I can maximize what I can send. And again, I don't know what it's gonna charge me in gas until I get a little bit further here. So we'll just wanna make sure, but usually it hasn't charged me hardly anything. Now it goes, I wanna swap BNB in this order. Please select the amount of BNB to swap. It only gives me three options. So I'm not actually gonna do that. Uh, you might. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do like 0.5 BNB and let's see what happens. I've never used this feature. Let's see what happens because when you turn your Ethereum from the Ethereum network, an ERC20 token, into a wrapped Ethereum on the Binance Smart Chain, uh, which you can then on, go to PancakeSwap and you know turn into BNB or whatever you want that's on the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, when you do that, if you don't already have a little BNB on the Binance Smart Chain, you don't have enough gas to do anything with it. You won't be able to turn the Ethereum, the wrapped Ethereum that you have on the Binance Smart Chain into BNB if you don't have a little bit of gas in the form of BNB. And so it might be that they stuck this here recently to make it easier for people to ha get a little gas. So I'm going to go ahead and press, I've never done it before, but I'm going to go ahead and press, I want to swap BNB in this order because a lot of you might not have any BNB. You might just have Ethereum or something, an ERC20 token on the Ethereum network. And again, I just want to repeat, I know I'm repeating for those of you who are quick on this stuff, but for those of you that are technically challenged, I want you to be super clear. When we switch the Ethereum that I have an Ethereum network over to wrapped Ethereum in the Binance Smart Chain, I won't be able to do anything with it if I don't have a little bit of BNB for gas to be able to turn that wrapped Ethereum that I'm going to get on the Binance Smart Chain into BNB or whatever. So maybe that's why they put this here. Let's go ahead and find out. Now it's going to confirm the destination that I'm going to receive the wrapped Ethereum. And that should be the same address that I just connected to, OXE403. And by the way, this isn't my account. This is another account that I just wanted to use for this, this example. So, uh, OXE403, uh, yeah, so this is the same address. You know, I don't know how it couldn't be because it's pulling it from the connected wallet, but you might want to just make sure like I just did. Now it says your swap address will be your receiving address. Please switch the network to check your balance after completion. So what it's saying there before I click next, it's saying that after I go through this, I'll have to wait for the transaction to happen, which by the way, can take a lot more time than you want it to. Like, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that sometimes. And I'll talk a little bit more about what to expect after we finish this process. Uh, but what it's saying there is you're going to receive the 
wrapped Ethereum or whatever token it is, if you're doing USDC, for example, on the Ethereum network, and you're turning it into USDC on the Binance Smart Chain, then it would be, you know, just replace what I'm saying with whatever token you're doing. But in this example, if you're doing Ethereum and you're moving it from the Ethereum network to the Binance Smart Chain network is wrapped Ethereum. So you can use it as BNB or whatever. If that's what you're doing, but what it's saying is you're going to need to go to your wallet after you're done and you're going to have to change from the Ethereum network to the Binance Smart Chain network or you're not going to see, see it because that's where it's going to end up. Okay, so I'm going to hit next now. And again, I've never done this BNB swap thing, so super curious what that's going to end up doing. I just want to confirm this all looks right. Destination OXE 403. I don't know why it would have changed, but I'm just going to make sure that's correct. Gas fee zero. It's 100% discount. So that's cool. I don't know how long that's going to continue, but uh, that's awesome. You receive uh, 0.51 ETH plus 0.5 BNB. So yeah, it's working the way I thought. So it's actually going to give me the BNB, which is super cool. This is a fairly new feature. Uh, so I'm going to get BNB with this transaction so that I've got a little BNB to use as gas later. So that's cool, that's good. Okay, so you're gonna wanna do that, What I exactly what I did with, you know, re-clicking that I do wanna get BNB. You're gonna wanna do that if you don't have any BNB. Okay, so now I'm gonna click confirm. It, you know, this is checked, I have read and agreed to the terms. I'm gonna click confirm. And it says transfer ETH from ETH network to Binance Smart Chain network, submit a transaction to the ETH network. So it's just asking me to confirm again. And it's just reminding, it's telling me the amount and it's saying, please transfer through your wallet to avoid loss. So I'm not sure exactly why it says that. Like, again, it's just kind of repeating things that it wants to make sure you know, like that you're using your own wallet uh, that you can access. And uh, we just got to submit the transaction again. It's just trying to make sure you Put the right address in there. Okay, so I'm going to hit confirm. Uh, you might want to look at the gas fee. They weren't charging a gas fee, but there's a little bit that they do ding you with here, but it's only a dollar eighty-three at the time I'm doing this. That's pretty amazing for the Ethereum network. I'm going to hit confirm, and now we wait. And this is the part where you know it can be a little of a nail biter. Well, this is interesting. So it already confirmed the transaction, that's fast. So the new upgrades to the Ethereum network have certainly impacted the speed of it. That's pretty impressive. Uh, I have never seen Ethereum work that fast in a long time. So uh, now we go here. Now, if it didn't go through yet, you know, you'd see it in activity, it would just be pending, but it's happened. So we see now I'm still on the Ethereum network. You see my Ethereum's gone. Now I only have 12 cents in there. And so now we have to, you know, I talked about this before. Now you go to the smart chain network. And this is where it's going to show up. But and by the way, the site just changed when I did that because it's connected and it doesn't read the Binance Smart Chain Network. But that's OK. We're done. Like we, we're now done with the, the, the Binance Bridge site. OK. So um, and I don't know if I read this to you, you know, the, the, what the Binance Bridge address is. But, you know, hopefully you were able to see this Binance.org forward slash EN forward slash bridge. Binance.org forward slash en forward slash bridge is where we've been doing this. But my point is, once I've done the transaction and I go over to the smart chain, we're done with that site. It's all working on the on the blockchain right now. But here's here's the thing I want you to know. I'm on the smart chain network now. Remember, I changed it from Ethereum to smart chain. This is where it's going to all show up, and hopefully, I'll see my BNB. I've never done that before, but it's going to send me that 0.5 BNB and the Ethereum. Uh, but it takes a while. It's a bit of a nail biter because you can even go and see on the on the blockchain that the transaction has happened. You know, and usually when that does that, usually when you go to the blockchain, you see a transaction's happened, then you'd receive it by now. But for whatever reason, when you do the bridge, it takes a lot longer. So you got to wait, wait quite a while. I might have to wait 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Don't panic. I've never not had it come. Uh, if you ever do have something weird happen, you can go to help. But I'm just telling you, you got to wait a lot longer than you think. And it is a little bit nerve wracking. Because you know, I'm waiting for my ETH. It's disappeared from one wallet. It hasn't shown up in this other wallet as wrapped ETH yet. But uh, I have never had it not come. Uh, so that's it. It's it. It's 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 actually really simple. I know I went into a lot of details. You know, those of you that are more knowledgeable about how this works, uh, you know, I probably went slow for you. But those of you who 
are new to all of this, I wanted to try to explain like some of the things behind all this so you understood what was going on. Uh, it's that simple. Now below this video, I'll put a link to uh, again, how to download the VPN that I use, how to make sure that one thing is checked off that so to make sure the VPN actually works. Super simple to do, but you need to do it and make sure that VPN is turned on if you live in the United States or in a jurisdiction. When you go to the site, it'll tell you if you live in a jurisdiction where you can't use Binance Bridge, you need to use that VPN. So I'll put a link below the video on that, showing you how to do that. And I'll put a link below the video, you know, showing you some of the other steps like, okay, once I get this Ethereum and the BNB, you know, how do I go to PancakeSwap and uh, turn that into, you know, uh, BNB or whatever Binance Smart Chain token I want on the on pancake swap we'll, we'll give you a link to that as well and I also just want to mention like one of the big reasons why a lot of people want BNB is because they can get into these crypto pre-sales uh, crypto pre-sales being cryptocurrencies that haven't launched yet on an exchange and we're just making a killing in, in these because you can get into one of these and 24 hours later it launches on pancake swap and it goes 2x 5x we've had uh, one guy came in and and because we have this discord group where we talk about all of these pre-sales coming out and we kind of analyze them together and work together to kind of do our own research, but, you know, talk about this stuff together as we're doing research together. And we had a guy come into there and, and, and find one of these crypto pre-sales and true story, like last month, uh, the next day after he came into the discord, he, uh, he got into baby cake was what it was called a cake rewards token that pays you uh, cake for for being a holder those are pretty hot right now one of these, these rewards tokens reflection tokens but anyway in five days he turned 850 bucks at that time three bnb into one hundred and two thousand dollars. and there's a lot of these kinds of stories that's one of the bigger ones which is why i share it with you but i mean there are so many of these crypto pre-sales doing this so if that's why you're looking for bnb because you want to get involved with crypto pre-sales definitely look at my link below too and learn about our tribe 100 x group we've got a class if all this is new to you we have a free class if you just want to be introduced to the concept we have a two-hour class that you can purchase for 97 bucks that shows you everything i know it's been absolutely insane the kinds of returns we're seeing i'm not a financial advisor this isn't financial advice i'm not recommending that you do it but if you're looking to do your own research in that area there's some resources below uh, that have just been staggeringly ridiculously effective for us uh, on the Binance Smart Chain. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to the channel. The algorithms like it, it encourages me to do this kind of content uh, and uh, certainly like the video if this was helpful. And put in the comment section if, if you're stuck on anything, uh, depending on where you live in the world and all kinds of stuff, different kind of scenarios can come up. But uh, between this video and the links I put below, it should give you everything you need uh, to turn Ethereum into BNB or an ERC20 token like Ethereum. USDC, whatever it might be on the Ethereum network into BNB or a BEP20 token, they're called uh, on the Binance Smart Chain. All right, guys, look below this video if you need more, more help on all this, and uh, we'll see you soon.